Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm at Ijebugo. So we just left Ijebo Day this morning. We are supposed to be there for two days for hunting, but the other jazz weren't around. So we just have only four dogs. And with just four dogs, there is nothing much the hunters can do because they need the dogs and the other jazz to scare the bushmeat away. So right now I'm at Ijebu go and this place they make for more that's cow skin there's a way they prepare cow skin so you can preserve it for a very long time and if you want to consume if you want to eat you can eat it so presently i'm at where the manufacturer is and there are so many markets for these people import people export but right now i'm in a place where they make it and i'll be going there to meet the woman in charge and to see how she prepare it and trust me there are a lot of people who are into this and even some people import uh, cow skin all the way from some parts of africa to this place here is miss sunny and she owns this place she owns this big establishment and they deal with all this for more we call it for more yeah it's cow skin and it's good for consumption so mommy, you want to say anything? Hi. She just said hi and she gave me permission to go around. She doesn't want to talk much, but if you need a contact, just ask me. I'm going to give you a contact. That's when you want to deal with her, right? If you want to deal with Pomo and all, just let me know. Here are the cow skins. There's a lot of it, man. So there are some here, there are some here. I think they want to work on this today. They have it over there as well. Some people dry it like this and after that they give it to them to burn it you can just skin a cow and just leave it like that you have to you know try to preserve it you have to dry it so when it's dry they buy it and when they buy it they bring it to this place to burn it do some little processing then after that they do the cutting oh these are big big wood insanely big wood man so she said this takes long sometimes but it all depends on how heavy the cow skin is so they just have to burn and burn it till it's all right she's been burning this for some time now and look at that this is how they spread it for it to dry up and when it's dry like this you can take it you can ship it abroad this place is called buka pomo that means like i don't know how to call puka puka is weird like a base of where you can get and uh, locals like all this local food they know so this is buka pomo in Ijebugo. anyway the processing is still going on i'm sure you guys recognize her from imakomi thanks to her we are able to locate this place uh, thank you all right so this will be going on for as long as she thinks it's all right to take it out of the fire. So she has been boiling it for some time now and I can feel it. Yeah, she's putting another one now. But they had to cut it, so it won't be nice just to leave it this long. So we have to cut it and she's cutting it into pieces like that. And after cutting, they spread it. Mom said she has been doing this for more than three years now and still counting. So if you want to trade with her, if you want to do anything with her, like based on this or more, just let me know. She's ready to trade. She has loads of it. They have a, a store over there in which they load everything. So let me know. They buy in bulk, they load it here and they start. No, it's nice. Very nice. It's nice. They are going to process those ones today. No job is easy, man. They've been doing this for three years, which is awesome. All right, we've seen the first process, and the next process will be there. So we just have to wait a little.
Cut them in different sizes, so, and everything has its price. So all these are packed and ready to be shipped out. So you're a Nigerian. You've been eating for more all your life, or anywhere around the world that you've been eating pomo and you don't know how they make it, you don't know the processing, you just know there is white pomo, there is black pomo. This is the processing. I have brought it to your screen now to see how they make pomo. This is how they make pomo, this is how they prepare pomo. And you see, it's a little bit longer process. You just have to preserve the skin, dry it up, then burn it again, then put it in hot, deep hot water, then dry it again then cut it dry again and you can keep it at home as long as you want all right so she's pouring this water on the skin so that this leather won't burn when she's burning it over there so it's to prevent the main leather not to burn but the air can burn off
the main goal is to burn the air and not the leather. Yeah, yeah. So they want all this air out, just only this air. So after this process, it goes yeah, to this. So she's gonna burn it. She's doing amazing job. She's doing an awesome job. Staying in front of fire for that long, wow. Then it comes here where they're gonna cook it for a very long time. They just want it to boil very well. all right so it will be spread there but after the boy is here we have to spread it here for the water to drain so that when cutting it it will melt. so by tomorrow she can now cut it the way you've been seeing her cutting it there so there is someone over there who is packing them and they'll be taking it to where they will sell she's doing awesome job Oh my god. Oh boy. This is how they spread it for it to dry up. You see? Oh my god. The heat is insane. Hey, it's so hot here, man. So it will be here till tomorrow, and by tomorrow we're gonna cut it. We're done. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. If you're interested in having a nice and good business, with let me know. I will give you a contact. But please be polite when you're asking for the contact. And when you want to ask for the contact, follow me on IG. If you don't follow me on IG, I won't give it to you.